Hello again, it's Jimmy here, O'Reilly's mobile mechanic. I have here Ford Transit Custom. So he's been having issues with this for a few months again. Same reason. Um, I know people. Some people have had comments in the past saying uh, every every sort of vehicle he has, he claims that someone has tried to fix it. That's the only reason people are driving three hours to come to me when he could easily get a local garage. The only reason he's drove to me today is because he's tried three or four of his local garages and they couldn't re uh, give him a resolution on the problem so they couldn't fix the fault or they couldn't find it now i wasn't really going to make a video on it but i just thought, decided at the last minute all right you know what i'll make a video on it because you know it's another one again we need to raise awareness on what some of these common issues are and why we're seeing them so if i connect up this smoke machine turn it on and we'll just switch it on so we've got green now we connect this up here to the inlet of the car or the van because what this got is it's got an intermittent issue it doesn't happen on every journey but it will give turbo under boost po299 it's had all sorts of stuff done as you can see in there it's had a new actuator put on it um i'm not sure if that's even a whole new turbo is it um but yeah it's had loads of work done five or six occasions they even changed the fuel pump i don't know what that was about but he said it's gone in limp mode and they said all right let's let's try changing the fuel pump but obviously it's a it's a turbo boost problem now the problem is is it doesn't always give a fault code and the customer has got his own scan tool uh, and he's been clearing the fault but yeah i've done one of these before so if you have a look here you can see the exhaust gases or combustion gases are um are leaking out there at a very high rate so not just slowly this one here Got a bit of a dribble from it, as well as that one. But we've got a massive leak there on number four. Now, like I said, the PCM here hasn't got a fault at the moment because the customer has been clearing his fault to um, be able to drive the van. But what uh, some of the symptoms are with this is what the customer is saying to me is the van would go in limp mode, but if you switch the engine off, restart it, and your power is back again, it'd be fine. But you would have the engine management light on, but the power would return with an ignition off and on cycle. Okay, so we disconnect the smoke machine. Now to fix this, what I'm first gonna have to do is open the fuel rails here. 17 mil spanner. Get these open. That's actually turning the, the smaller bolt on here, so we'll have to come back to that in a minute. We'll get this one off. Sorry, just adjust the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, we've got that one loose, and then we're just going to do the same on all four injectors here. So you just use a little pick tool, get in behind here, get these little spring clips out. Okay, so now we've just popped out these injector leak offs, so you just use a little trim tool here like that, push them out. So you can see all four of these are now out, they're all attached together. Now we can just get the plugs off for each injector here. Okay, now we've got all of the plugs out. We have already loosened these bolts here, 8mm bolts. Just get those out. And these injectors, they're not usually too not too tight, you can see they're hand tight. Didn't even to use an in, need, need to use a tool on that one. Let's give it a wiggle, sort of left and right. There you go, it's out. Gonna need to clean these up. Okay, so you can see there we haven't got the um, seal. So the seal hasn't come out, so it's going to be down there. You can see why these cause a boost leak. It's because obviously the rubber gaskets on the rocker cover here, they leak, and then you lose your lose your pressure out of there. Okay, so you use this special tool to get the injector sealed out. That just goes down in there. You can screw it on and then pull them out. Just clean out the injector seat. Okay, now we can see that's a bit cleaner. So we're just using a little boroscope here, just to make con make sure that the port is is clean. So just use the same trim tool again. 
get it under there. We should be able to just pry that old rubber seal up. Okay, so I've just used a little wire brush wheel to sort of clean, break up the carbon that's on them. Now we can give them a spray down, get these cleaned up. So I just use a little dab of grease there, and that'll stick the new injector washer on place so it's not going to fall out when you're trying to put it in. So this is the kit I'm using here. We've got a set of uh, the rubber gaskets there, seals, and then you've got the copper one that goes down the bottom of the injector. So you can see there now, we've just basically pushed all of those back on in reverse, the same way that we've done it as we took them out. So now we're just on to number one and two here. So we've got these out and this one is in a hell of a state here. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna have some wire brushing. See all of this stuff? Well, that's, no, sorry, that's some of the metal, but that's some of the pieces of carbon there that have been flying off. Okay, that's the four injectors in. Get the smoke detector back up and running. Okay, so you can see how much pressure that was holding and we haven't got any more leaks around the injectors. Okay, now it's all back together. Okay, back inside the van, we just started up, make sure that it's all running correctly, it's not misfiring. We've not got any blowback from the injectors. Okay, so we've just about finished on that one. So that is it, I'll see you on another video.